Welcome back to the Iron Hunger Endless Mode run. We're on level 20, going further. Let's see how far we can get. You cannot eat gold, you know. I don't know if I care. Well, I'll give food for gold. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Not much gold. I think I have some leftover gold gain cards in the deck. Food. Food gain shall take. Um, for only one food. You know, I'm really grateful that ultimately the goblins, um, no matter what you do, they don't have enemies to come to help them. Goblins are incredibly annoying. But let's see what the healer has for us. What curses can I remove right now? I do want to remove Cursed Luck. It's a pain otherwise, and everything else here is, well, too expensive. But not really a problem. I don't even need to buy food. I considered buying it briefly just in order to have an extra resource. I do not have enough health for Test of Pride. Okay, um, surprise portal. Where are you putting me? Right here? I can deal with that. I like my equipment. We are moving past Treasure Trove. We've started repeating a lot of cards. Which is fine. There are a limited number of cards in the deck. Choose from these options. Curse. Ouch. Ooh, this is a new one. Okay, what have we got? More than anything, I am proud of my array of curses. Uh, I have a lot of ring. That's gonna hurt a lot. Think about the way we play this game. Jesus. You continue to die, yet we receive. 60 health is no joke. Time. One has to wonder how it is possible to truly lose. Fortunately, Ghost of the Sea is here to give us... something or other. The ghost doesn't quite know what to do with us. Well, let's try our luck with the Devil's Carnival. I don't really fancy our luck here, but... Oh, well, no, here we go. Huge success. I'll live with gold loss. See, now I'm not sure, because there are some cards here that could be really good. But we do have to just keep moving. Ah, 
That is one of my favorites. That is awful. That is awful. Absolutely awful. And I'm getting to the healer as fast as I can because it is extremely lucky that it, the healer is there. I alone do not play. I don't even I don't even have enough food for Lost Island. You have choices, This is awful. And I have predestination. Your choices though are merely a rediscovery of that which you already Oh, and I have to do the Dark Dweller. What am I gonna do? Pain? I can live with that. And I can live with food. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Something died. And I have the feeling the Rat King died, which I am exceedingly grateful for. Because this is a very, very delicate situation. I am not happy about this. Looking forward to moving forward. Oh dear. Oh good. Hell beasts. Hell beasts are coming from not clearing that totem and not giving it a ring. I don't care. I don't care. I can deal with the hell beasts. In fact, I'm on fire. <laughs> And they're not. It's time to get me to a healer. I am so extremely fortunate the healer came back uh, right away, otherwise I might be dead. Yeah. Skin rash, bye-bye. Infected rings, bye-bye. Now, really, I just want to get my rings back, and I want to complete the dragon set. Noble Trader wants my 
Kraken's Wrath Claw. I don't care to give it. The peasant wants food. You can absolutely take the food. Really? Is that what you're going to do? What have we got here? I like this a lot. Every living thing must eat or die. We're at losing 50 health right now. The gods look upon you favorably. I'm getting it back fast, but I do need my max health to go up. It's better than trudging along a muddy road. Fortunately, I'm going to get some more hell beasts. The game cards are getting quite pitiful. A horse is a fine companion. I'm sure you'll leave this one in time. You do not seem to have the temperament for friends, even in the animal. Deadly traps I will take. It's not Your quite a freebie curse. Spent. Your memories tattered and torn, formed into mere cards for us to play with. We never want to leave the wife to deal with it because we will get cursed. Fortunately, combat is good for us. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, hey, Fortitude's Breath is here. Not as good as pain. Food and health are so fundamentally linked that this sort of spell is elementary. Ring of Fulfillment, I'm not sure I've shown it off anywhere, but it makes food suddenly useful. Marginally so. Why not? We're probably going to uh, the Queen and the King, yeah.
Okay, a little bit harder than hoped for. The pendulum can swing both ways. Cursed gambler I will want to avoid at all costs. I don't necessarily want to risk stealing. Okay, he took gold. I can deal with somebody taking gold from me. It only took 23 levels and we're back above 100 health. Okay, we're now getting health gain effects. Fantastic. Welcome back to Captain Bocanera. I don't need food per se. Gold maybe. But it's gonna be one gold. I think we're at the end of uh, gain cards being incredibly useful unless they're equipment and see what you will find.
stronger lizardmen is not a lot of fun, but again, not the end of the world. Ingenious, don't you think? We have a healer. Hmm. Let's wander this time. Lucky. Uh, this is the point at which I don't necessarily want to enter the crucible, except for the health gain it gives me. And the health gain is not negligible, so I am going to risk it. And I can deal with skulls to some degree. Not so great. I do have a good weapon for fighting them, but I am not trusting my luck with uh, these so much. At least, I have the ability to ignore their shield. Plus, Lizard Eater is becoming very beneficial in the ability to help me stock up on health. Yeah, good. Probably just oh, three gold. I'm sure you are grateful for that. But my health is not nothing. In case you haven't noticed by now, deep in this dungeon, 
we're going to be fighting a lot. In a past endless run, this was pretty bad. Since the, uh, yeah, the, the king of scales is very difficult to deal with here. Especially accompanied. By all his lackeys. And this is extremely hard. You can't see all the other lizard men and they'll probably get attack. Quite frankly, what I'm trying to do is just get, get rid of the lava golems if I could by walking around. But I want, I absolutely want to attack the king without getting hurt. There we go. Immediately, that gives me a little bit of breathing room. The accumulated damage got the Lizardman. Thank you, Dragon Armor. I'm sure you are grateful for that. Oh no. I'm not happy by this at all. You know... What are my curses? What are my curses? I don't actually have any curses that are cheap. I'm going to ignore this Dark Dweller and move on. One more step down, and we may see the end of this, or another set of stairs. To equipment. Oh, the helm and the ring. Many came to play the game. Now, it's so few. The bored, the obsessed, the weak. Some come here merely to fill their mind with anything else. That's so very unfortunate. I don't want to deal with either of those without equipment. But we're just going to do Lava Golems. It is becoming harder and harder to judge the distances, even taking a small break doesn't make this dungeon much easier to deal with. Endless mode is tough. And I still maintain this was a better uh, deal than the plague. One down. The 
living oh, good. dead have plagued these lands. Dragon armor is still better. Thankfully, there exist many tools for their destruction, if you can find them. The Oracle is not too worthwhile. Ooh, angry mob is starting to appear. Anger rises. Anger without form or dialogue. We've never actually met the angry mob and had enough food to give them. So let's see if they're happy. That's right. You give the angry mob enough food, they're very happy. Useful. The King and the Queen of Dust are really, really happy to be part of our deck, aren't they? This could actually be worthwhile. A lich is not nice. I just have to be careful, and the Lich might be actually doable. A little bah. extra health. Nothing worthwhile. It's only a momentary respite. I have enough gold. I can safely wager gold. I don't expect to get anything out of it, but a choice. Select your desire. Hey, I got lucky. Nothing more pleasing than the smell of salt water and the rush of wind, is there? Again with the king and the queen. Thank <laughs> you. 
science. Nasty. But there we go. We have a this tinker. This is where it ends. Or at least, this is where the conclusion begins. As much as any game. Oh, Blacksmith's Gratitude. Excellent from the Warlord Fate. I will absolutely pay gold for equipment. Gain card plus one gold and two health is sort of okay. Scavenger's cap. Well, it's food. But I think now that we lost our dragon helm. Time for the explorer's helmet. I don't care for the river. And I can just ignore the cursed treasure. Another pile of treasure. Hey, and apparently it was good judgment to ignore the treasure. So in a run, I will probably never ever pick the cursed treasure, and the wrath of the old gods might keep me going unless the blessing gets removed. Oh, ambush again. Show me what I can get back. Anything. Weapons. Uh, including one I actually wanted to show off. I think the... Kraken's Claw. Kraken's Wrath's Claw. Kraken Claw. Has reached its end. Blood Crescent is very nice. What will you do with that? Gather enough protection, and you may become strong enough to challenge the gods themselves. I think I don't need Skullcap Prophecy. Are you sure that's the right approach? But you know what? You think that will help you? I'll take them, and I'll briefly go back to the Tinker. 163 gold is very good. And I want more rings. Even though the monsters are going to keep coming. So the Blood Crescent is nice, and you can't see it because I'm killing things very fast, but... Anything on the ground gets finished in one hit. Now there is limited utility to this, since court members can never be finished, so it'll never work against them. But it'll work against other things. And with one, insta-kill on just about anything. Of course, you do want to manage your health carefully, so don't just kill absolutely everything with that. Nothing, unfortunately, very useful. 
Frostfang would have been good another time. And I do still have armor on. Okay, and as much as this isn't going to be fun, I'm probably going to be ambushed again. I have to try. Fortunately, the King of Plague can go down in one hit thanks to the Blood Crescent. Still nothing that I really want. But I will buy this. And smelt it. Okay. This shop isn't going to help me. I probably want a uh, mage's shop. Hey look, it's the priest. But the priest could actually end up cursing us. Battle practice will go against my absolutely favorite monster, the Lich. And that was the wrong button. I meant to press Q and instead I hit 1, but apparently it killed the Lich at that distance. I'm not unhappy with this result. Even though the gain cards are rather pitiful. Rockfall is now a normal card. Fifty percent health. Fortunately, we have a helm, so against the bandits it is. Unfortunately, the Blood Crescent is not of perfect utility, since the um, court members, if they fall on the ground, will end up just dodging anything we do on the anything we try doing to them. Fortunately, it is somewhat possible to stud lock them. Suddenly that ring that would give me things for gain cards 
sounded like a great idea. It's better than trudging along a muddy road. Certainly. I don't know what happened there. Uh, my keyboard got stuck. It would not respond to anything. So either that was an effect I don't know about, or the game bugged out on me. That's not great. Forty four health might actually kill me on the way down. Let's see what I get. Oh, deadly skeletons. I can keep I going. Hope that is the curse that ends your quest. Oh, I don't like this at all. More curse, more blessing. I made that a little too useful. Powerful. I will have to rebalance that next time. Manageable. How abundantly blessed you are to reach such heights. Truly, the gods must favor you. I'm just checking. That is an achievement I've long waited to unlock. Pure enlightenment. Possess ten blessings at once. We're not doing too badly. I can take a failure here.
I don't like this. I'm probably not going to get this card, but hey, any chance at a success is good for me. Nope. 30% health and two equipment, which are rings. Descend ever deeper into the subterranean pit. I appreciate your ingenuity. I look forward to seeing how you approach this particular challenge. That's going to be tough. Whether to be surprised that you're clumsy enough to have accumulated ten curses, or impressed that you've done it and still survived. That's another achievement I note. Created. I can hardly bear the sight of it now. I've worked my way through its many convolutions so many times. You know, I might as well risk it. I have a priest right down there. As unlikely as I can make this. How it all ends. Will I ever know the truth? Holy cow. Yes. What blessing do you have for me left? Very nice indeed. A while ago, I think I lost the ring that gave me max health upon completing a combat. I just have to make do. We remove this. Remove Corrupted Soul. More survivability. And what do we have left for blessings? Toxic Blood. Many of these blessings are too good for the likes of you. There are no more blessings, everybody. I have as much as I can. Twelve blessings in all. That's all there is in the game. You know what? Food? Well, not exactly useful. You're grateful for that. Is also max health for me right now. Ah, perfect. Merchant's favor. Another Give it to me. On the table. Let us see how you deal with it. I don't need the call for the priest. And I want that equipment as long as this isn't deadly. Ah, uh, the wandering minstrels. Yes, that's fine. I don't need their services. But here we go. What gear do you have for me? A new ring. Ring of punishment. What sort of man would trade the blessing of the gods for material wealth? Not me. Not yet. When I can get the explorer's ring. Food bonus, especially since it's getting me max health right now. It's nice. Voyage across the ocean, or merely a trip down the river. Queen just needed to go. I can deal with the king and I can deal with the queen, but I don't really want to deal with them at once. Thank you. 
level 28. We're pretty far down. I'm glad we're getting some of these uh, deadly traps and deadly skeleton ones. Away from bad luck. This can only end one way, you know. I actually want to see the shop. We're getting ambushed all the time, but it's still okay. Interesting choices here. Order's Desire Helm is not really great. Depth of Night could be useful, but to be honest, if I end up drawing the King of Scales in an encounter, it will hurt. Night's wings enfold you even here. Good fortune surrounds you with the shadows. At this point, I think I want to go to Frost Fang. Blood Crescent is okay, but the ability to freeze things. Well, it's also just time to move on. Interesting choice. Maybe actually heal some stuff. I'm going to do one last try that will probably get me ambushed anyhow. Yep. There we go, we've got some rings again. And some gloves. Okay, Fool's Gold, I don't think I showed it off much. It's a creepy looking kind of smiles mask. Weapon ability usage stuns bandits, and they give me two gold. You know, in another circumstance, that wouldn't be so bad. Holy Ring is moderately useful, but it adds the collection of rings. 
What will you do with that? Same with Trader's Ring. But the exit portal is right there. I do not want to go to Merchants in Distress. Mostly because I don't want to fight the uh, King of Plague. Okay, Dark Dweller, it's time again. But that was a slightly luckier luck event, and I'm wondering if Guardian Angel also affects general luck. Oh, great, another river. Choose from these options. This is just turn back. Or despair. Now, this is a special event. Now, this is my kind of travel. I get to show something off now. In the portal room, you actually have a portal. Which means every single exit card can show you a special fight room. In this case, you're in a crypt, and you've got the portal just appearing in the back. Honestly, kind of cool. Alright, this is going to be good. When you hit level 30, after this... What did I lose? A will of the gods? It has finally come to this. I am tired. It has been too long, yet life, life will not let the candle be snuffed. I want to know what lies beyond that door, yet I will not go easily. That clip has played before, but at level 30 you get the Deep Delver achievement to reach level 30 in Endless Mode. You probably get the idea from watching this video now. 
At first, endless mode is rather easy, so you can just kind of fuck around. You don't have to worry too much about losing health, and your gains are quite good. But as you keep going down, your gains become smaller and smaller, and if you haven't accumulated enough equipment and enough effects or blessings, you'll end up losing 50% of health, 33% of health, just 50 health outright. Pain cards will be that bad. And you need to just go on, gain as much as possible, as fast as possible. Right now, I'm in a sort of okay position. I can't actually remove any of these curses, and apparently I can't buy any blessings here. I have ways of surviving. I haven't encountered all the equipment, the shops haven't let me. But I've seen the priest. Now I can even try this sunken treasure, which I don't usually have the chance to. I will probably be a lot more successful thanks to Guardian Angel. I'm impressed by your good fortune. Or is it your trickery? And that's another achievement. It's actually quite hard to get. Very lucky. Get 15 success or huge success chance cards in a single session. And you note that we didn't have as many chance cards as we had combat. Ooh, metal ore, nice. We will continue searching. But Sunken Treasure, at this point, is not very good for us. The gain cards will be minimal. So we'll use our Guardian Angel Blessing and get out of here. Right now, we've reached level 30. A fantastic point. Sail away and see what you will find. We're just going to keep going until we just die. Look at that list of curses and blessings here. It's obscene. It would be so easy to create a game that merely defeats you. A game in which you stand no chance, also completely unfair. That is not how I work. I refuse to play in such a manner. Our game is fair, and you will be defeated fairly. Yeah! 
Well, isn't that fortunate? Um, I have so many blessings that the curses don't matter. Oh, I didn't want this. I can go back. It has been a long time since I saw the maiden on this run. And I think health gain, whether I need it or not, is appropriate here. Although I'm having so many going into the discards over there. Soul Gym is back. This is the third time this run, and the food cost is 20. We are getting rid of a Ratman Lethality. We still don't want to give our helmets. Nothing more pleasing than the smell of salt water and the rush of wind, is there? A brand new curse. The deeper you go, the harder things become. I'm, I'll be honest, this is probably going to be the end of me. Blighted is a curse that admittedly I've hardly ever seen. But as you can see, it's bad. There is an armor that gives the same non-heal effect, but not being able to heal when you take a lot of damage and when you have pain cards will kill you. I'm not saying it's impossible to deal with. I was left these simple pieces, and from them I have built a palace of memories, a convoluted mix. However, I basically just need to keep going further and further down to just increase multipliers. you are grateful for that I'm gonna laugh if there's a priest or a healer on the next floor now that was a little bug here zero pain card I don't know if it happens just because of this endless run but oh again how unpleasant nope just a shop we're all merely pieces upon the board. The circle repeats without end. Does the rook understand the oblivion that engulfs it when it is placed back in the box? Does the king understand that he truly rules over nothing? I mean, I did do the Lich last time, though. And Lizardmen get me food. Maybe I can deal with the King of Scales. He might get me. Clear the battlefield. Oh, 
I am fortunate, however, that this is the Frostfang versus Lizardman. The shop is unlikely to have anything good. We can still check. But our lack of healing is slowly being the death of us. Let's see if the Devil's Carnival is good to us this time. Are we going to lose our weapon? I know that there's one of these successes that makes us lose equipment. And it's not this one. Okay, I didn't need that. It's fine. Maybe this is it. Still alive at dungeon level 33. We are losing our critical strike. The black deck delivers again. Nasty. Every card drawn from your thoughts and your memories. Every card tainted by your view of the world and your single-minded purpose. The same singularity of purpose that brings you here. Okay, I admit, I can't really be too scared of the Ratmen, except for their ranged varieties. When I can just run with the dragon armor and hurt everything in my path.
my god, we're actually still not dead. We're still not dead. A tear between worlds. A thing that cannot be, yet is. The dragon gauntlets are gone. More than anything, I am proud of my array of curses. I don't know whether to be surprised that you're clumsy enough to have accumulated ten curses, or impressed that you've done it and still survived. This might be it. I keep saying that, but... It was bound to happen. Dead. And with an artifact unused. Perhaps that might have saved you. The rats will find you and gnaw upon your bones. Lovely. I accomplished what I wanted to accomplish here. You got to see Iron Hunger, and how it interacts with food. And in some ways, how it makes a run pretty easy. And in some ways, it makes it very difficult. It depends on whether your start is lucky or not. We recovered from a very, very bad health situation. The blade we got, that we kind of stole from the funeral, ended up carrying us quite far, as did the shield. And in the end... We recovered our health and then some before the array of curses and the loss of equipment gradually did us in. And in the end, Blight it got us. And through all of this, we actually did quite well for ourselves. We got many rings in our inventory. We got 10 blessings at once. We got many success or huge success cards in a single session, and we reached level 30 in endless mode, which is a massive milestone because you noticed around level 20, things start getting really tough. That's a lot of gold, a lot of equipment cards, a lot of things defeated. Back so soon. I knew you would not falter. <laughs> Dealer quips aside. Thanks so much for watching this endless mode run on the Iron Hunger Fate.